For a long time, YouTube has been one of the most popular video streaming platforms in North America. And while the platform has an automatic flagging system, around 500 hours of video is uploaded every minute, so the algorithm is bound to let some videos slip through the cracks. In this video, we'll focus on only three of the many dark sides of YouTube. ARGs are short for Alternate Reality Games, where interactive fictional narratives use the internet as a platform to grow their stories. Some examples of ARGs include The Sun Vanished, where in 2018, an unnamed protagonist opened a real Twitter account and claimed that the sun had vanished. Viewers could interact with the protagonist and watch their story unfold as they kept tweeting. But ARGs aren't always this lighthearted. On April 17th, 2018, a YouTube video was uploaded to the channel Ash Vlogs, where a young woman named Ash explained that she was starting a vlogging channel. Or misclicked and wound up here. Uh, how about giving a sub? Be a hero, change that zero. You know, maybe even a like or something. Um, this is my first time ever doing anything like this, so I thought that we could kind of do this together. However, around 30 seconds into the video, a crying baby can be heard, followed by a banging noise. Like what you don't like, how to make it better. Yeah. Oh, and I have updated from the, uh, from Movie Maker to the... Oof, you hear that? Ash seems to ignore the noise, continuing to explain the start of her channel. The video continues without interruption until a few seconds before the end, when Ash says, claim to fame followed by a few seconds of glitching. You know, first for everything, claim to fame. <laughs> to the few viewers she had at the time, the video seemed to be a normal one. The baby crying could have been from a neighbor, and the glitching at the end could have been a complication in editing. But the channel was found to be hiding something much more sinister. In the description of the video, a link can be found, accompanied by the word click. Clicking on the link takes you to an unlisted video on the Ash Vlogs channel. This video seems to depict someone in an abandoned basement or house with a loud noise in the background. But in the first few moments, a laptop shows the upload page for YouTube. This spawned many theories. Maybe Ash was being forced to make videos and upload them. Or maybe someone else had access to her channel. Nevertheless, a second video was uploaded a week later, continuing the vlog series with a trip to a mill where she films herself exploring it. Mill this week. I was so inspired, like, it was the most gangster shit on my life. That was kind of scary. In this video, Ash explains the baby noise that was heard in the last video. She explains that a neighbor of hers named Katie has a baby, and since the walls in her apartment are paper thin, she can hear what her neighbors are doing at all times. First ever comment! My first ever comment says, drumroll please! What the fuck is that noise in the background going on? Is that a baby or some shit? Yay! My first ever comment! Um, yes, that is a baby or some shit. I live in this apartment where the walls are like toilet paper thin. Uh, so you can hear everything. So they get to come along for the ride uh, with my vlogs. They get to hear everything. My, my neighbor, my neighbor, Katie. Hmm. In the description of this video is another link, and when clicked, takes us to another unlisted video. In the video, it seems as if someone is filming Ash from a hidden location, with the sound of two or three glitched voices, justifying the theory that someone else has access to Ash's channel, and is linking these videos in her description. Her third video is only 17 seconds where she complains about the neighbor's baby. But this one, unlike the last two, didn't have a link in the description. The fourth video is mostly a normal vlog of her day and job at a call center, but lo and behold, in the description is a link to another unlisted video. This one being filmed from inside a car, 
with a glitched voice saying a series of numbers which, when decoded, spell out claim to fame, the same thing that Ash had said in her first video. But the following video is when things start to get much weirder. in the morning right now. What is he doing? I don't want to go back to sleep because there's just this guy sitting here looking in like what he's doing. Hello. Finally. Fuck you. Jesus Christ, look at the time guys. Five in the fucking morning. We dead smart. Kill me. Apparently, someone had been parking outside Ash's apartment late at night, resulting in Ash being unable to sleep. The following few videos are normal ones, with more of the same lighthearted content from Ash, and the same obscure links to unlisted videos in her descriptions. But as her series continues, stranger things start happening in her videos. And I found this package on my doorstep, and at first I was excited. I thought it was my new King Giz record from Bandcamp, but... Uh, it's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this thing is. Let me show you. But this is it. It's a big, ooh, box. Let's do this. Whoa. All right. Bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. Okay. After the whole unboxing thing of this bad boy, I was feeling a little creeped out, to be honest with you, and I called up Alan. She is super curious too. She's agreed to come with me and my scaredy cat ass uh, to get some like little connections and plugs and everything that's needed to actually look and find out what's on this. So we're all gonna find out together, I guess. In a video uploaded on August 15th, 2018, Ash plugs the mentioned hard drive into a computer. See, it's c2f.exe with that little Strange dude, <laughs> again. <laughs> um, we are going to exciting. find out what's what's the deal with this bad boy. If you can see. All right, shall can we? Can we do it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get this watched. Loading. Okay. Loading, loading, How loading. How excitement. <laughs> Hold on to me, gal, please. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wonderful sound design. Turn it down. <laughs> what? This is a uh -huh. shitty prank. <laughs> Just. I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it. Um. The video abruptly ends after what seems like a car pulls up outside Ash's apartment, implying that something happened to her and her friend. Exactly what is unknown. When turning on the subtitles for the video, text can be seen from a third person. This video marks the end of all continuity on the Ash Vlogs channel. The videos after this one contain cryptic codes and messages spanning various social media platforms. The extent and complexity of these codes and messages can't be done justice within only a few minutes. Subreddits, Discord servers, and various forums have been created to try and decipher the codes hidden within the videos in the channel itself. To this day, the hunt for answers is still ongoing even after the actor who played Ash posted this video to her personal Instagram, seemingly implying that the ARG was finished. Hey guys, uh, Lauren here. Uh, to everyone who came along for the journey of the ARG, uh, thanks for playing and welcome to my Instagram. On the internet, there have always been people who would do anything for fame. Most people engage in harmless activities in hopes of reaching a certain level of popularity, but others will go above and beyond until they see the results they want. There are many examples of this, but one that has been plaguing YouTube recently is the rise of fake animal rescue channels. 
While I was writing the script for this video, I had chosen a specific channel to focus on, a channel called Pets Rescue. However, right as I was about to finish up editing the video, the channel got removed, and rightfully so, but it meant that I had to redo this entire section, so after one more week of gathering information about a new channel, here are my findings. In this video, we'll be focusing on one channel in particular, and NC Animals. When going on their page, one of their videos immediately raises a red flag. The video was titled, Poor Dog in His Most Evil Boss, slash Poor Dog Was Drowned in a Bucket of Water by His Master. By the title alone, it's apparent that something suspicious is clearly going on. The video starts off with a man seemingly getting angry at his dog for being in his vegetable garden. He then takes the dog and puts him in a bucket, implying that he's going to drown him. At which point, another person steps in and calls the so-called rescuer to come and help. If it wasn't apparent before, it's almost certain that this situation, as well as the whole video, has been staged. For one, the cameraman films the entire ordeal without stepping in, so the confrontation between the rescuer and the so-called evil boss consists of a lot of shouting with no real action. At the end of the ordeal, the evil boss seemingly just gives up and lets go of the dog. The remainder of the video shows the man taking care of the dog he allegedly saved. And as if this video wasn't bad enough, his next one is even worse. The title reads, Wicked Boss Took Dogs for Meat, slash Poor Dog Was Dragged on the Road by His Master, where he finds a dog tied to the back of a motorcycle. This time, the rescuer barely tries to stop the man from driving away with the dog. And again, the cameraman only watches while all this is happening. It's especially evident that this is staged in one of his following videos, where the one man is supposed to be sneaking around the house without the owner of the house finding out but the cameraman films the whole process from an obvious location, meaning he's filming in clear view of the man they're supposed to be hiding from. Most of his videos seem to follow the same pattern, where he finds a so-called evil boss who's harming animals, specifically dogs, in some way. He tries to stop them and a fight ensues, only stopping when the rescuer offers money or the so-called evil boss just gives up. Everything from now on is purely speculation and shouldn't be taken as the firm truth. These are conclusions that I've reached using the given information. In the channel's community tab, the creator links content from another channel called Pets Rescue. When going on the Pets Rescue channel, you can see the same type of faked content, but in one of their videos, you can see a red motorcycle. This motorcycle is the same one seen in one of the NNC videos, leading me to believe that these two channels are run by the same person or the same group of people. And it's not just the motorcycle, there are many similarities between the two channels. Some of his thumbnails also look staged, as if the creators had positioned everything perfectly specifically to take a thumbnail picture. The comments are mostly oblivious to the fake nature of the videos, commenting random emojis, thanking the man for what seems like a heroic act or speaking in another language. The few comments that do call him out go unnoticed by the creator and the viewers alike. Nevertheless, 29 videos have been uploaded to the NNC Animals channel, with the most viewed video getting around 418,000 views. But because the creator uploads every day or sometimes even twice a day, he'll have uploaded more by the time my video has been posted. While scrolling through his channel, I notice the URL at the top of the screen. YouTube channel URLs can be changed by the creator if they want to make a cleaner, easier to remember URL. So it struck me as odd when I saw that the creator had changed his URL to Huogross, not NNC Animals, which is his current channel name. The possibility that Huogross was a previous username, along with the fact that the channel was created in 2011, but his first animal rescue video was only three weeks ago, leads me to believe that he had previously tried another type of content, with a different username. And when that failed, he changed his username and switched up his style. When he tried out fake animal rescue videos, his views seemingly surged, with the first one getting around 400,000 views, so he kept making that type of content. This, of course, is purely speculation, but lots of other channels that have tried making fake animal rescue videos have ended up changing their names in content after receiving too much hate. Other YouTubers have taken notice of this type of content and made videos calling many creators out, most notably Nick Crowley, who uploaded three videos about the issue, even getting a few channels removed by YouTube. But most of them only changed their usernames and continued with a different type of content. In the early 1990s, before the internet was widely used, 
videos, movies, and a lot of other type of media had to be traded by hand. And after a video had been dubbed from VHS copies and traded in basements, it was hard, if not impossible, to track down its origin. That's why, when a 26-minute long video was uploaded to YouTube in 2014, it raised eyebrows. The video shows what seems to be a teenager or a young adult explaining how to loot graves, how to deal with witnesses, and how to prepare a skull for black market trading. Right, and it'll pull off, it'll make a disgusting sound. Um, so let's say it's some, someone important, right? Or I see you, uh, so you take a sample of the, uh, see that mustache, right? Okay, so you... The man in the video seems to be holding a skull. Whether the skull is real or fake has been the topic of countless debates. Some say that it's too dirty to be a medical use skull, and the time and effort it would have taken to make such a realistic looking skull without any real reward is unrealistic. Alternatively, others have argued that the advice the man is giving is terrible, almost cartoonish. At one point, he says to knock out any witnesses to make them think that it was a dream, which is bad advice to say the least. Never leave witnesses. If you have to knock them out, knock them out so that way they think it's a dream. It's best not to kill, but if it's necessary, do it. Nevertheless, the video looks like it had been taken in the 1980s or 90s. Early on in the video, we can see a VHS next to some of the bones. The cover resembles that of Evil Dead 2, a movie that was released in 1987. This detail especially confused viewers, because in the pre-1990s, there wouldn't have been a clear incentive for a regular teenager to create such an elaborate hoax. When viewers couldn't determine the authenticity of the footage, they shifted their efforts to try and identify the man in the video. The man has what seems to be black hair, dark eyes, a discernible stutter, and some sort of substance on his face. Whether that substance is blood or not is unclear. It's very... It's hard to find, okay, and it's, it's very, um... His appearance is mostly generic, but what intrigued internet sleuths is that at the end of the video, he seems to say his own name before cutting himself off and saying nicknames for what is assumed to be his grave looting crew. Okay, this was made by, uh, by Anthony... Guess, uh, uh, um, well, as a matter of fact, let's forget the last name. It's Anthony and Gino, okay? Um, we worked hard, um, also, Bucci, Bucci and Daco um, also helped it. Uh. He seems to say Anthony Cass before abruptly stopping. Internet sleuths subsequently found a New York Times article dating back to 1999 about the arrest of a man named Anthony Casamassima. The article claims that Anthony had stolen and sold a stained glass window from a cemetery. Although many have been quick to dismiss the lead, pointing to the inconsistent timeline and the lack of information about actual bones being stolen. Using the Evil Dead 2 VHS mentioned earlier, we can determine that the video was recorded sometime after 1987, and the man in the video seems to be around 18 to 20 years old. The New York Times article claimed that Anthony Casamassima was 40 years old in 1999, meaning the video would have been taken when he was 30 years old, which is inconsistent with his appearance. In the last few seconds of the video, the man claims that his next target is the remains of Harry Houdini. And our next big hit is Houdini. If you're watching this video, then you'll know who it was. Bye-bye. While Houdini's grave has been vandalized and destroyed before, his coffin remains sealed and it's unlikely that grave robbers would have stolen Houdini's remains undetected. To this day, the man in the video has never officially been identified, nor has the origin of the video. Although this video dove into some gruesome topics, it only scratches the surface of the dark side of one of the largest video streaming platforms in the world.